I'm Rick Barangi, one of the co-editors for the 2015 World Zoo and Aquarium Conservation Strategy, Committing to Conservation. This document was the result of years of collaboration and it contains a wealth of best practices to enable you and your organization to become more proactive in saving species and their habitats. It is more than a call to action and it's more than a single strategy. It's a proactive, user-friendly guide to help you deliver on your core mission of wildlife conservation. These seven steps are designed to fit all types of zoos and aquariums, with examples from many different zoological institutions, both large and small. It all begins with creating a culture of conservation from within your organization. Inform and empower your staff. Educate your board and governing officials as to the importance of conservation and the extinction crisis, and how everyone can make a difference. If I had to pick the things that most define this document, number one would be empowering leaders of zoos and aquariums to grow the quality and sustainability of their programs so that it's a long-term commitment. Two would be developing a business plan that creates new revenues for conservation and new donors. Three, develop partnerships to leverage your resources with other organizations and maximize your impact. You can't do this alone. Lastly, the WASA conservation strategy is about connecting, communicating, and celebrating. Connecting each animal habitat in your zoo or aquarium to helping those same species and habitats in the field. Then, communicating and celebrating our conservation victories so our hundreds and millions of visitors understand and appreciate the enormous role we play in saving wild animals and their habitats around the world. Please review this document, share it with your staff and governing body. I promise it will help your zoo or aquarium become a more respected and admired organization. Thank you.